So pointers can be a pretty hard concept to get down, and hopefully I can explain them to you now. So this is a pointer declaration up here. The asterisk there is to symbolize that this variable is a pointer and not a regular variable. So you might be wondering, how is a pointer different than a regular variable? How is a pointer integer any different than you know, a regular integer? So hopefully you know by now a regular integer will set itself equal to a value, a value and you can use that value in ways you want to, or you can just reassign the value that it represents. I can just take x, and x can be equal to 5. Then I can just say now it's equal to 10, arbitrarily, with no math involved. So this is, it really works the same way, um, but a pointer is actually looking at an address in memory. It's equal to an address in memory, just like x could be equal to 10 p is going to be equal to an address in memory. And so what you can do with this is you can send the address to the function instead of the value. Because when you send the value to the function, you, you can only get one thing back, more or less. You can only return that one value. And so you, you kind of get a little tunneled in what you can do with one function. With this, you can send as many things as you want, change them, and not even worry about returning them. Now, let's just look at how memory is allocated. So you can see down here I use p without the asterisk. That's because p is a variable, it's an integer pointer variable, and what it's doing is it's looking for a memory address to point to. Right now it's you know considered undeclared, and so malloc in this case is going to be our declaration of this variable, where we're, malloc is asking the computer, give me a piece of memory somewhere, the size of an integer in this case, and so then the variable is basically empty, and p is still looking at this address, this new address that it has. So down here you see me using the asterisk again, and this is where I tend to get confused, you know, and where most people would, but it, it's a pretty simple solution, and, and that's this, that when I'm doing this down here, I'm, I'm asking what's inside of the address that's in p. When I have p up here without that asterisk, I'm asking what is p, and p is the memory address, right? So here I'm assigning, I'm saying p is this memory address. Here I'm saying what is inside of p is 10. What is inside of that memory address that is. And so this is what really confuses people, because in the declaration it operates completely differently. In the declaration it's just to say you know, this variable is a pointer, it has nothing else that it does, and I can demonstrate that by doing this, and this might be a bit confusing to people, that I can do that, and you can see it works just as well, it's still 10. I can do it either way, I can set it back, and it works either way. And so that's because this p up here, it's not, it is a pointer variable, and the asterisk just happens to be the same symbol used for both things. So in a declaration, the asterisk means this is a pointer. By now it's been declared, the computer already knows that it's a pointer. And so at this point, the asterisk is used to differentiate between looking at the address itself and doing things with the address itself, or looking at the value in the address and doing things with the value in the address. So down here you can see I want to print the address and I'm asking it to print the value of the address. Because printing the address is, is kind of arbitrary and, and not very useful to most people, but what's inside the address could be very valuable information. Now here is the, the upside to this. Uh, I have this function down here and you can see it's a one-line function and I'm not returning anything but it's still going to do something. So what I'm doing is I'm sending my pointer, well I haven't put it in the main yet, but I'm setting my pointer, sending my pointer, to this function and it's going to multiply it by 10 and it's not going to give it back and it's still going to work. So let's check this out. I'm just going to do do stuff, which is the name of the function, and then I'm just going to send p, no asterisks. If I used an asterisk, I would be telling it to send the value 
And first of all, I'm not asking for a value. I'm not asking for an integer. So it would get confused there. But even if I were, you'd end up with the integer here. You'd multiply it by 10. And then nothing would happen in the main function because it never returns. So let's just see this work. And you can see now it's 100. And, and so that's basically how that concept works. And it can be employed in a lot of programs to save you a lot of time. Hope this helps.